Hey guys and girls, I'm Linksort123 and welcome to another video of me showing off my remixes of popular Zelda music. In today's video we're going to take a look at my remix of the Lost Wood themes from Zelda Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. This theme also appears in other Zelda games, but mostly as an easter egg or something that plays underneath some under undertones, for example, like in Fern Woods in Twilight Princess. But basically, that's not what we're going to talk about today. In today's video, we're going to take a look at my remix of uh, this very popular song. Basically, every Zelda fan knows this kind of song because it's a really iconic song. And you can basically hear it uh, first time you start out Ocarina of Time. Because... Uh, Lost Woods is also appearing in Kokiri Forest and you can go straight to that place. So basically this uh, this song is really known as a techno song because it's really it's really easy to make really hyped and really really awesome sounding. So basically this is my very first track basically. Wow I said basically a lot of times. But this is my first track ever made. It's like six months ago I made this and a lot of things happened to to my passion about music and stuff like that. So, yeah, the, a lot of things happen, so don't expect uh, a really well-made track, but I think this turned out really, really well in comparison to I was a beginner at the time. So let's just start and uh, let's take a look at the whole intro, because it's actually a really, really simple one. You can see it's actually just a part of the whole lead here that goes on for four patterns, as we know it in most of uh, the cases of Zelda music. Let's take a listen. Well, uh, to make this uh, little intro a bit more uh, special, I added this uh, double time techno effect underneath uh, the actual bell sound that appears in the top here. And then I put it in uh, the Majora's Mask, uh, Happy Mask Salesman's uh, laugh into it just to make it a little bit uh, of creepy sounding because that guy is really creepy, <laughs> he's really creeping me off. Ugh. Let's uh, take a listen to everything combined. <laughs> and then we basically get a little pause because the last note here is really long and the happy mask salesman's uh, laugh here really fades out the whole the whole note there. Anyways, uh, when the song basically begins, we can listen to the very iconic uh, theme once again, uh, also played with this kind of bell sound, but now we know the song is started. If you listen really carefully, you can also hear link sounds underneath uh, the actual notes here, just to make the this version a little bit more Zelda iconic. Um, I also added drums and a, a synth to the whole um, song here, so let's also take a listen to them. The drums sounds like this, really, really simple, also together with claps. And basically that's the same drums that goes on for the whole song, so that's just perfect, right? Uh, the synth is uh, like a disordered techno sound once again, a very, very high uh, pitched um, sound here. But it sounds really awesome when everything is combined, let's just take a listen here. Basically, so when everything is uh, combined, we are going to take a really quick listen to it here. Since the drums is not like uh, just hammering in in front of the song and just hammering away from every kind of note, like doom, doom, doom. Basically, it gives this kind of trap feeling, a really slow type of uh, tempo to the whole song, and I really liked that in at the time. Basically, it was not a techno remix, more like 
um, a hard trap remix, but it's not this hip hop part of the song. It's more like electronic sounding. Um, the next patent is going to have a patent T underneath it that sounds like this. A really dark saw that appears underneath here and gives a great feeling because it's like a, a sound that are used in a lot of uh, electronic music and uh, electro house stuff like that. It sounds really great. Let's try to take a, a listen to the part before and then also to this part. Wow, it uh, you can clearly hear the the synth underneath here in the last two patterns basically, but it it also appears underneath here, but uh, maybe it's not that clear actually. Um, another thing is uh, the next part here is going to be a little bit different. We got another thin synth on it, sorry, um, which is pattern thirteen. Let's try to take a look here. And once again, I'm going to add the drums, and also pattern 2 is also appearing, so let's take a listen there. And once again, if you didn't hear it in the last part here, the evergreen, which also um, is uh, basically it's just uh, the name of the sound that I used from Nexus which is this double time thing you can see the notes here if you should uh, be wondering about that basically this double timed uh, part really gives a great techno feeling to the whole song Basically, and once again, you can also see here, pattern 2 is also appearing, a little part here, a little part down here, and blah blah blah, basically. Uh, I really like putting Zelda sounds underneath here, we got uh, Majora's Mask Link sounds going on down here, and basically a lot of things is happening underneath <laughs> every kind of pattern from this whole remix. So that's uh, really nice if you like to hear Link shouting and stuff. Uh, basically, the next part is go also going to have pattern 2 underneath it, uh, and also a little part of the evergreen, and uh, basically this is a, a little middle play before we start out being really hardcore. So let's just take a listen to the notes before and then this little part. Once again, we got actually we we got a little silent part here, but it g gets a really great effect because the evergreen got this kind of reverb to it, so it's not totally silent. Hello. Wow, I really like this little part. Actually, uh, it's just like the Majora's Mask um, songs that also is on my previous videos. Because they got this little middle play between the different notes um, or the different patterns in the whole song. And I really like that because it just, it makes it easier to uh, mix basically. So uh, we got that part done and uh, the next part is also going to have pattern 2 uh, going on. But also we got a pattern that's called Go. And that one sounds like this. Make sure to uh, be ready for some really hardcore shit. Wow, um, basically this part also got some <laughs> link sounds once again, let's just take a listen to this. Wow, 
Well, that sounds really well. Uh, now we are going to listen to a lot of different patterns actually, three different patterns. If you are worried about which one of these, what they sound like, you can just take a listen here to pattern T. We heard that before. <laughs> Basically that's that's the whole part of it. It's just a little silent part here, um but it sounds really great because this little pause between this really hardcore notes going on there and then it actually continues over here. It gives a great feeling. Anyways, pattern 2 once again also just yeah, runs in the top here. Pattern T also goes on here and the pattern Go is also appearing once again. Uh, now we are also back once again uh, with the Wii pattern which is, um, if you didn't remember that, that sounds like this. Pattern 2 also appears here and uh, a little bit of pattern T is, as I said before. The drums, blah blah blah, wow. Now we are going to a little other part of pattern T. You can see pattern T up here, pattern T down here. Basically, now we know what's going on here. Under uh, the pattern called Go, which is this hardcore sound, basically this is the, the notes. Clearly. And they are really, really sick sounding because it's a really, really loud noise and a really, really loud sound. But it gives a great feeling to the whole track and blah, blah, blah. Um, Over here, it, this is basically the last part of the song because it just... Uh, it continues for three more times and then we fades out over here. Let's just take a listen to that in a second. Um, so a lot of things is actually going on here. It's much more simplistic than the other beats uh, or the other remixes. It doesn't look like that but it really is because pattern 2 is basically... It goes on for the whole song, man. And basically just the sound and the notes that I played it's it's easier made than the other ones but I think it really it can live up to a lot of things now we also got pattern 18 that sounds like this once again we got this little this little part which is totally silent in the actual uh, synth which is uh, the dark sound down here and then we got a uh, Ocarina of Time Young Link strong attack sound, which um, basically creates a, um, once again, it's just a, like this pause creates some more hype about the whole song. Let's just take a listen once again. We actually got two pauses down here, which uh, it's actually a, a little different kind of effect that gives it to your song. It just, if you can do it really well, it sounds really great. Uh, to end the whole uh, pattern uh, compilation here, we got some different Ocarina of Time sounds that goes on here. Let's just take a listen. And then it's a it's a really really hard stop that goes on here. Basically, the sound just stops in middle of nowhere, and then we goes over to evergreen. This double sound there. Um, I don't know what I think about that, but it's all right, I guess. Um, <laughs> basically, um, but uh, over here we actually don't even need to listen to this because 
It's just the evergreen sound once again. It's a really simple track all at all, but I'm really proud of it because it was the very first track that I made. It sounds alright, but wow. Um, it's something different uh, from the remixes that I just made in, in like a week ago or something like that, because it doesn't sound that well in comparison... Uh, th- this doesn't sound that well in comparison to the new ones, but basically you, you like, you get better every time you do this. So it, it's basically just about practicing and stuff like that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my very first beat here, and my very first remix, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, make sure to go to SoundCloud. Make sure to support me on there and. Uh, Just take a listen to the whole song itself. It's uh, really well. And uh, yeah, it's not that long as uh, this one. Because this is a really, really long song. It actually goes on for like seven and a half minutes. For God's sake, guys and girls. I don't want to waste your ear time so much, man. Not this time, at least. So make sure to like and subscribe and comment on this video. And support me on SoundCloud. That would mean so much to me, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. See ya!